The Korea Institute for Curriculum and Evaluation has announced that it will ensure the exclusion of so-called killer questions in this year's college entrance exam, or Sunung, scheduled for November 16th, while incorporating 50% of the questions from EBS content. 한국 교육과정 평가원은 11월 16일에 실시되는 올해 대학 수학 능력 시험 수능에서 이른바 킬러 문항을 배제하는 한편 문제 중 50%를 EBS 강의 내용에서 출제한다고 발표했습니다. Well, the first expression is mm -hmm. to ensure something. To ensure something. Uh, the spelling E-N-S-U-R-E -E is to make sure or to make certain or safe. And this is confusing mm. because ensure, the same pronunciation, I-N-S-U-R-E, -E, means to uh, protect against any risk, like insurance. Insurance. So here, ensure uh, what EBS or what education officials are mm. doing is that they're ensuring mm. that these so-called killer questions won't be on the test. So they're yeah. making sure and making people feel um, safe or steady about that. Right. So ensure with an E mm -hmm. means to make sure. And we like to ensure that these expressions are uh, explained as clearly as possible. Yes, they go through a rigorous test before yes. we, we talk about it That's on right. air here. Uh, another word that people, mm. uh, many people, especially native speakers, confuse is usher. A-S-S-U-R-E. Ah. -S -S and that's to promise or say something with confidence. Mm. And they're, they're kind of similar meanings. So ensure, ensure, and usher. Mm. But there are slight differences here, but here we're using it in the meaning of uh, to make sure or certain or to be safe with something. 확실히 하다의 의미가 있죠. Ensure. So to ensure the exclusion of something. 뭔가를 배제하겠다라는 것을 어, 확실히 얘기했다라는 거고요. And EBS content is the other expression. Content. So uh, if, we, if we look at this story here, mm. education officials are ensuring yeah. that uh, if any students are listening right now, that uh, a lot of the material from the test or on the test will come from textbooks related to EBS. Mm. So the content here, now mm. this is a word that's thrown a lot, around a lot in, in Korea, content. Yeah. Um, but I want to make this clear once and for all. Content is something, when we talk about it on the internet or on in books, mm. it, it's something that's um, expressed through some sort of medium, um, like a speech or mm. writing. Contents with an S is something that's contained in yeah. some sort of container, like a bag, like uh, empty your content, empty the contents of your bag, for right. example. Right, and it could be at the start of a book, mm -hmm. the contents of the book. Table of contents. Table of contents. Exactly. So those are the only times you'll have contents with an S, mm -hmm. but when, when it comes to the internet or some something you use, it's content. Exactly. No S. You can think of it as it's almost a non-countable yeah. noun. Exactly. And that's an easy way to, to remember it. 우리말로는 콘텐츠라고 하지만 영어로는 S 없이 콘텐츠라고 합니다. 그리고 이제 만약에 콘텐츠에 S를 붙였을 때는 내용물 아니면은 책의 목차라는 의미가 되죠. So in this case, EBS content mm -hmm. means material from EBS. Exactly, and mm -hmm. that will be on the test. Yeah. November 16th, it's, it's very close. That's right. Greenhouse gas concentrations on the Korean peninsula reached another record high last year, according to new data, with the average annual background concentration of CO2 reaching 425 parts per million, the highest since 1999 when monitoring began. 작년 우리나라 연평균 이산화탄소 배경 농도가 측정이 시작된 1999년 이후 가장 높은 425 ppm을 기록했습니다. 이로써 지난해 한반도 온실가스 농도가 재작년에 이어 또 역대 최고치를 경신했습니다. The first expression here mm -hmm. is background concentration of CO2. Yeah, I'll have to admit I had to do a little research on this too Me because too. it's a very specialized term it yeah. seems. CO2, carbon dioxide, right, which is very harmful to the environment. Mm. Now when we talk about when something's concentrated, it's very, you know, gathered closely together, it's clustered. So there what scientists are doing is they're monitoring the concentration of carbon dioxide, but background concentration is when you measure sort of the typical level of CO2 in a remote area to use that as sort of a baseline mm. uh, to compare it with other uh, locations. And I think that's the easiest way to, yeah, to think of it. Exactly. Uh, they say it's not influenced by uh, specific human activities mm -hmm. as well. So, 여기서 말하는 background concentration of CO2는 우리말로 이산화탄소 
배경 농도가 될 텐데요. 이 배경 농도라는 이 전문 용어는 인위적인 오염원에서 배출되는 양은 제외하고 자연 배출원과 장거리 수송에 의해 유입되는 양을 포함하는 농도라고 합니다. And here's a little uh, tidbit here yeah. as well. Korea has one area where background concentrations of CO2 is uh, measured. Do you know? Do you have any idea where that is? Uh, is it an island? It says on the script. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anmyeondo. Anmyeondo. I, I learned mm. that today too. Yes. So that's uh, sort of the baseline of where CO2 is measured here in Korea. And it's very high as mm-hmm. well. 그래요. 어, 우리나라에서 이제 안면도에서 측정된 게 여기 헤드라인에 나와 있는 425 ppm이 작년에 기록이 됐습니다. 역대 최고치인데 1999년도에 처음 기록을 시작했단 말이에요. But since then, uh, back then, I think it was 369 ppm. So mm-hmm. it's grown significantly. But when we say when monitoring began, what yeah. are we talking about? Uh, that's when we go back to, when you monitor something, you're observing it or recording it, detecting or keep track, keeping track of it. Uh, and when we say when monitoring began, it's essentially ever since such data has been collected. Yeah. So uh, we don't know what happened before that point. Mm. Uh, Uh, but sort of to compare uh, on a year by year basis, we use that as the beginning point. Yeah. And so since then, uh, record level highs mm. since monitoring began. You hear this a lot in the news. And this can be for any sort of data collecting, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know how exactly um, what sort of figures existed before we uh, recorded it sure. you know, back. thousands of years ago, maybe. But we do know ever since monitoring began what the st- stats look like. Monitoring이 그러면 여기서는 이제 어, 측정되는 것을 말하고 있는 거겠죠. 그래서 since ni- monitoring began in 1999, 99년도에 처음으로 이제 측정을 하기 시작했는데 그 이래로 이제 가장 높은 연평균 이산화탄소 배경 농도가 기록이 됐군요. A bus carrying 41 Chinese tourists was attacked by a group of black-clad rioters in the French city of Marseille as violence persisted across France over recent days, according to China's state-run English outlet Global Times. 최근 프랑스 전역에서 폭력 시위가 계속되는 가운데 프랑스 마르세유에서 중국인 관광객 41명을 태운 버스가 검은 옷을 입은 폭도들의 공격을 받았다고 중국 관영 매체 글로벌 타임스가 보도했습니다. The first expression to look at here is mm-hmm. black clad rioters. Yeah, the word clad here, C L A D. It means you're dressed or uh, in something. Mm. Uh, and in fact, this is actually a kind of an archaic um, origin, but it's the past participle of clothe. Oh, really? I did not know that, no, but nor did I. It, it means uh, to be to be clothed in something, yeah. literally, here. Mm. So if they're black clad, that means these rioters, uh, you know, these protesters, uh, mm. usually in a very disorderly sort of way, they were all dressed in black. Yeah, just quickly looking at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing, I think we're sort of clad in black and white or navy and white today. Sure. It's kind of similar. Right. But Let's stay away from <laughs> my fashion sense. I'm, you know. But yeah, yeah to be clad to in be something. To be clad. In. Right. It means you're dressed in something. You know, uh, yeah. this reminds me of, uh, you know, ironclad. We hear ah. this, uh, you know, in the news when we talk about alliances among countries. You sure. Know, the U.S. and South Korea, the alliance is ironclad. It's very means strong. It's as strong as iron. There, mm, right? Exactly. It could also mean covered in something. Covered so in something. Snow-clad uh-huh. mountains or hills or something. You know, General Lee Sun Shin, his turtle ships were ironclad iron ships. Clad. They were covered in iron. Uh-huh. Aha, right? mm-hmm. 그러네요. Clad in something, 그러면은 어떤 옷을 입었다가 될 수도 있고 무언가에 뒤덮인 내 의미가 될 수도 있습니다. Black clad rioters는 검은 옷을 입은 폭도들이 되겠고요. Now, violence... has persisted in mm-hmm. France for, for some time now. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Violence, you know, this sort of rough physical force, yeah. uh, power that has persisted, meaning that it's continued for a sort of extended period of time. It's been going on for a couple of weeks now, perhaps yeah. a week or two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, if, you, if you hear the word to persist, it mm-hmm. means, it, it, as you said, it goes on and on and yeah. on. Sort of not stopping. And you can use it in a sort of way to have persistence oh, yeah. with something. That means you're very uh, con- uh, focused mm. in doing something. Uh, that means you're, you're not wavering at all. Sure, mm-hmm. exactly. 여기서 말하는 이제 persist라는 것은 지속되다. 
계속되다. So violence persisted. 폭력 시위가 계속되고 있는 상황을 얘기합니다. A group of EV charger manufacturers and operators in the U.S. has expressed opposition to Texas's plan to mandate the inclusion of Tesla technology in charging stations, stating that it is premature, according to Reuters. 전기차 충전소에 테슬라 기술 장착을 의무화하려는 미국 텍사스주 방침에 미국 내 충전기 제조업체와 운영업체들이 시기상조라며 반발하고 나섰다고 로이터통신이 전했습니다. The first expression here is uh, mandate the inclusion of something. Yeah, to mandate something is to order mm. or to require or command. Uh, the word mandatory mm. means it's required or to authorize something. So this is the issue here that uh, authorities, they're mandating the inclusion to include Tesla technology in charging stations. Yeah, to make something mandatory. Mm -hmm. Mandate is the verb, 의무화하다. And the companies that are against this, yeah. they're saying, no, this, is, this decision is premature. It's too early. It's too happening early. too early. So mm -hmm. premature, uh, you see the word mature in there. So mm -hmm. it's before you become mature. So uh, it, it's used also premature baby, perhaps, yes. when a baby is born too early. Yep. Uh, Both of is... my children were actually oh, were born they, premature. They say preemies, yes, right? Yes, that's they, right. Uh, for short. Yeah, so I yeah. did not know that. Okay. Mm. But now they're all grown up and healthy oh, very and everything, healthy. right? Yeah. Yes. Premature means too early, as Jane explained. 너무 이르다. 여기서는 이제 시기상조다가 되겠네요. A California graduate student has made headlines after revealing he commuted by plane almost every day between Los Angeles and San Francisco while attending the University of California, Berkeley, to avoid paying rent in the Bay Area. California 대학교 버클리, 일명 UC 버클리를 다니던 한 대학원생이 San Francisco Bay Area 지역의 비싼 월세를 피하기 위해 Los Angeles에서 학교가 있는 San Francisco까지 거의 매일 비행기로 통학했다고 밝혀 화제가 되고 있습니다. Okay. The expression to look at here is to make headlines. Yeah, to make headlines. Uh, by definition, I read this story Me too, because yeah. it was you know, it was on the front page of, of where I get my news. Mm. So to make headlines uh, means it's become an issue. It was brought to attention. Um, mm. You can also say make the front page of a newspaper. Uh, you know, literally, and no one reads newspaper newspapers anymore. Right, right. But to make the front page means it's, uh, you know, extra, extra, you mm. know, read all about it. Yeah. Uh, this is very important uh, or read this, right? Mm, exactly. 옛날에 그 newspaper boy, uh -huh. read all about it. Extra, extra, extra. extra. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 얘기를 하던 때도 있었죠. 몇십 년 전인지 모르겠지만. Uh, make headlines라는 거는 화제가 되다, 대서특필이 되다라는 의미가 되겠습니다. So this person has made headlines. They wanted to avoid paying rent. Yeah, they wanted to, this person wanted, didn't want to pay rent. Uh, obviously rent in the U.S. is on a monthly basis. Yeah. They don't have the Junze, no. Junze system there. So the reason this student did this was he didn't want to pay rent. It's astronomical, the figures. It is. Yeah. We'll get to that, yeah, you know, but will, yeah. um, to avoid something means to escape or to prevent something from happening. So right. um, the, the reason this happened was mm. of the ex exorbitant rent prices. Mm. Avoid is 피하다 라는 뜻이죠. 그래서 paying rent, 월세 내는 것을 좀 아끼기 위해 차라리 내가 LA에서 샌프란시스코까지 비행기를 타는 게 이게 더 싸겠다. 이렇게 판단을 한것 같습니다. Ice cream prices in Korea continue to soar as frozen dessert manufacturers cite higher prices of raw materials, labor cost, logistics expenses, and higher utility bills as reasons for the continued hikes. 빈과 업체들이 원자재 가격 상승과 인건비, 물류비, 전기가스 요금 인상 등을 이유로 제품 가격을 인상하면서 아이스크림 가격이 계속 오르고 있습니다. The first expression to look at here is to cite something as reasons. Cite, you can think of it as evidence when you write a essay in, in university, you need to have citations. Yeah. Where did you get this information from? Really important. Right. So it's your evidence. In this case, when you, uh, so they've cited these higher prices, labor costs, etc. as mm. reasons. That means they've given those as their reasons. These are our reasons here. Yeah, I remember my, writing my master's thesis okay. and I had to be extra clear of, you know, where I cited what from and everything, mm -hmm. you know, otherwise 
it's you know it's plagiarism it's just or well, oh no it's is a it, rant is that the word? it's more of no oh. plagiarism when you copy <laughs> no not plagiarism uh what's the word i've got the Opinion? word now. You mean? no the the word meaning you've copied things from other people oh, that's, and that's, pla- that's plagiarism. That plagiarism yeah that's plagiarism that? okay. yeah all right so you don't want to do that no no you want to make sure that you cite things accurately in this case though as you said you know you're telling you're giving reasons mm-hmm. cite the spelling is c i t e not s i t e and the next expression is continued hikes ah uh, so it's not the nice kind of hike that we talk about no. going for a hike in the mountain no. this is hike meaning increase mm. and you can think of it an increase as, as as a noun you can also use it as a verb too to hike something to hike yeah. interest rates right. to hike prices when we talk about continued hikes it means continued price increases right we talk about the fed right. and their height increases all yes, the time exactly. right exactly 맞아요 우리가 연준 금리 인상 하면서 이 hike rate hike 이런 말참 많이 듣죠 여기서는 continued hikes에서는 금리 인상은 아니고 가격 상승이 계속된다라는 의미로 볼수 있겠고 아까 그 site something as reasons는 무엇을 이유로 들다입니다 an investigation has revealed that nearly 3% of all real estate purchases and sales by foreigners from 2017 to 2022 may have been illicit, involving money brought illegally into Korea and other violations. 네. 2017년에서 2022년 사이 이뤄진 외국인 토지 거래 가운데 3% 가량이 불법으로 반입된 돈이 거래에 사용되는 등 관련법 위반이 의심되는 것으로 나타났습니다. Let's look at this term here. Real estate, we know, 부동산, but purchases and sales. Is that one term? Uh, no, no, two different ones, because oh, okay. a purchase means to buy something. Right. So we could just say the buying and selling of real estate. Ah, so this we, is, yeah, so. Good, right, yeah. so we can be talking about uh, buildings, apartments, mm. houses, even land. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing, I think, for learners of the Korean language, mm. because buying something, the Chinese character we use is me, and to sell something is also me. So the pronunciation is the same. Oh, different wow. characters, oh. different hancha, but purchasing and selling in Korean is meme. But it, they, they mean completely different things. You just say it that way, you buying and like selling. Yeah, ah, exactly. So you look at it as one phrase, Term, pu- one yeah, phrase, yeah, right, exactly. okay. So I, I can totally understand if someone's learning Korean and mm-hmm. they'll go, what? This is so confusing because it looks yes. like the same word. I, I, <laughs> but it's not. I'm con- yeah, <laughs> but you, you've explained it quite well. I, mm, I, oh, I can follow you. it a bit. 그렇죠. 우리가 이제 흔히 매매라고 하는 거 영어로는 purchases and sales라고 얘기를 할수 있겠죠. 또 참고로 뭐 거래라는 단어는 transactions가 있습니다. Now, if something's brought into the country illegally uh, that means you're not it's against the law anything that's illegal is against the law you're not allowed to do it yeah it's uh, illicit illicit yeah. just means illegal same thing 네, 헤드라인에 보면 illegal도 있고 illicit도 있는데요 다 불법이다라는 뜻이 되겠죠 a mass shooting at an outdoor neighborhood block party in the u.s city of baltimore maryland has left two people dead and 28 others injured including three in critical condition 미국 메릴랜드주 볼티모어에서 지역 축제가 벌어지던 야외 파티장에 괴한이 총기를 난사해 두 명이 숨지고 스물여덟 명이 다쳤으며 이중 세 명은 생명이 위독한 것으로 확인됐습니다. So as I said briefly, uh, this past weekend was the 4th of July weekend. Uh, so 그 미국에서는 건국 기념일을 맞아서 파티 여는 게 전통이라고 합니다. 그 중에 하나였던 것 같아요. This was an outdoor neighborhood. Block party? Yeah, What's I've, a block I've party? heard of these sort of things. I think okay. they used to do them when I was a kid too. So like, just the people like on a on a a block. Yeah. How would you describe a block I in th- a in a city? I think in Korea, the way we um, construct and build houses and roads and things is different to North America. So we don't have blocks per se, but yeah. but I understand what you're trying to say. Maybe like. 작은 구역 
Oh, it's kind of an like, area yeah. between two intersections. Sure, Put it, sure. Think of it, think of it that way. Mm. And it's probably a little bit bigger than that. It's like mm. a street party. 보통은 북미권에서 사거리와 사거리 사이에 있는 진짜 한 블록처럼 네모나게 생긴 요 지역을 블록이라고 얘기하고 어, 구역이라고도 볼수 있겠죠. 이런 언급을 많이 해요. Just two blocks from here, you can find the ice cream shop. Right. Or, you know, just go down three blocks and you'll find the bank. 뭐 이런 식으로 두 블록, 세 블록 내려가세요. 이렇게 얘기 많이 하는데 But in Korea, we don't say that much. You don't say it, but you could still, I think I foreigners so. could still say it. Because Maybe at the next intersection. Right, go oh. to the next intersection or it's oh. on the next... Cross the road here. Mm. It's on this next block. You could say 그렇죠. that. 그러네요. 우리나라에서는 뭐 이를테면 다음 사거리 아니면 사거리 두번 지나서 뭐 이렇게 말할 수도 있을 텐데 그 사이에 있는 가구 단지라든지 이런 것들 자체를 이제는 북미권에서 block라고 하고 거기서 파티를 한 거네요. Outdoor neighborhood block party. Um, I've been told that um, in New York. The NYC permit department defines a block party as a public event. It's a community-sponsored event, and there are no sales of goods or services, but you only have to have it for one day, and it's limited to one block. So they have a definition for it. In New York, but <laughs> in this, New York. But this, this story is takes place in Baltimore. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But I imagine it's similar, similar right? Yeah, and it's all in the same... But there was a mass shooting, oh dear. And three people are said to be in critical condition. What's critical condition? What does it mean? It means that there is a high or significant risk of death. There's a, there's a very good chance they won't survive. So to be in critical condition, that's the expression, and it means it's a sort of life and death situation. It's a life and death situation. They're in mm. the hospital, they're hooked up to machines. 네. It's really touch and go with 그래. whether they're going to survive or not. 음, 네. 아주 위독한 상태를 be in critical condition이라고 합니다. 사상자가 아주 많이 나왔어요. Sweden has condemned the burning of a Quran outside Stockholm's main mosque. Calling it an Islamophobic act after an international Islamic body called for preventative measures to avoid similar incidents from happening in the future. Stockholm의 한 모스크 밖에서 이슬람 경전인 쿠란이 소각된 것과 관련해 이슬람 최대의 국제 기구인 이슬람 협력 기구가 긴급 회의를 열어 쿠란 훼손 재발을 방지하기 위한 조치를 촉구하자 스웨덴 정부는 해당 쿠란 소각 시위를 이슬람 혐오 행위다, 이슬람어포비크다라고 규탄했습니다. 자, 아까 레이 선생님이 이거 발음하는 거 어, 예리하신 분들은 바로 캐치하셨을 것 같아요. 아까 선생님이 preventative라고 하셨는데 이게 발음이 두 가지입니다. You can say preventative or preventive. Yes, They're you both can. Both correct. Right? right, exactly. And it means to stop something from happening, something mm. that potentially could happen. That's right. You prevent it from happening. That's right. Stop 방지. it before it starts. Yes, 예방 뭐 방지를 위한 조치인데요. 발음이 두 가지라는 거. Preventive, preventative. And what about this next expression? To avoid similar incidents from happening. That means to stop things that are the same or similar, meaning almost the same, from happening again. Yeah. That's all. That's all that means here. Mm, They don't 유사한, want this thing happening. Oh, 그럼요. 유사한 사고가 다시 발생하지 않도록 한다. To avoid similar incidents from happening. 입니다. Ala Ferronautics, a California-based automaker, has announced that it has received approval from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration to commence testing on the road and in the air for a fully electric flying car. 네, 캘리포니아 주에 위치한 이 본사를 둔 자동차 회사 Alef Aeronautics는 자사의 비행 전기차가 미국 연방 항공청인 FAA로부터 시험 비행을 승인받았다고 발표했습니다. 자, 승인받았다라는 표현부터 볼게요. The first expression is to receive approval. I like to describe it as getting the green light right. to do something, right? Mm. So in this case, they've got the go-ahead, got the green light, permission yeah. to test on the road and in the air. That's right. Get the go-ahead, get the green light. That means you get permission. 승인받다. And the next expression is to test something on the road and in the air. 
That is exactly what it means. I think maybe the more interesting word yeah. here is to commence ah, testing. Let's look at that. So then that like means that if you commence something, you yeah. start it. You know what I love is that expression, a commencement ceremony sure, okay. in America. Because yep. uh, in England, uh, we say graduation most yep. of the time. But in America, they call it a commencement. And I, I love the sentiment, the thought behind it. Mm. It's not the end of your high school years. It's the start of something new. It's almost right? like the starting of adulthood yeah. or something like yeah, that, right? I love that. 맞아요. 이 commence는 시작하다 라는 뜻인데 미국에서는 졸업식을 시작식 이런 식으로 불러요. 왜냐면은 한 학교를 마무리하는 것과 동시에 무언가 새로운 세상이 시작이 되니까 저는 이 표현이 참 좋더라고요. Commencement ceremony. Labor and management representatives returned to the negotiation table and presented their respective revised proposals regarding next year's minimum wage hike prior to the 10th plenary meeting of the minimum wage committee at the government complex Sejong on Tuesday. 노사는 어제 정부 세종청사에서 열린 제10차 최저임금위원회 전원회의에 앞서 내년에 적용할 최저임금 수준을 두고 최초 요구안에 대한 수정안을 각각 제시하며 협상을 재개했습니다. The first expression is to return to the negotiation table. You can also say the negotiating table as well. You'll, okay. you'll hear both. Mm -hmm. um, and anyone who's ever been involved in any kind of negotiation, a lot of times you're in a room, you're in an office, a boardroom, and there's yeah. a table there between you, usually. Right. right. So you're negotiating across the table, probably mm. passing offers back and forth. But you don't, there doesn't necessarily have to be a table mm. for this if you use the situation figuratively, right. it can really be any place or any situation where people are formally negotiating. It's mm. so like I'm sure during the pandemic, a lot of negotiating probably happened online. Yeah, exactly. But you could still say they return to the negotiation exactly. table. Exactly. It's when they're when you're actively negotiating. You're, right. There's dialogue and communication. Mm, exactly. So even if there's no literal table, figuratively, this is an expression that's used quite a lot. There could be tables, though. A lot yes, of the times, the time, there are course. literally that's right. tables there. That's right. A negotiation table and 협상 table인데요. Return to the negotiation table. 그러면은 협상을 재개했다고요. And what about respective revised proposals? So you can break down these words here. So respective means each side, mm -hmm. right? So the labor side gave their new proposal mm. and management side gave their new proposal. That's re what it means when we say respective. Right. We're talking about two sides. Revised just means changed mm -hmm. or altered. Exactly. So they've each gave their own new amended changed proposal. Mm. Uh, proposal the. Uh, 어떤 뭐 제안서라든지 여기서는 uh, 수정안이 되겠, 되겠는데요. Revised proposal이기 때문에 수정안. 그 다음에 respective는 각각의 라는 의미가 있습니다. So I could say, for example, Ray and I played basketball and we all did very well scoring, I don't know, 5 and 50 respectively. And that's not good. And maybe that's not a score you get in basketball. I don't know. But if I just give the scores yeah. then and then say respectively, respectively, then it's in the order that I said the yes. names. Yes, right, right. So, so I think you gave me five points and you 50 oh, points. Did I, did I, I think so. I meant to yeah. do the opposite. Oh, did you? There's yeah. no way I would score 50 points in basketball. Can you score 50 points in basketball? If you're really, yeah, Michael Jordan and good players, did they oh, did it okay. before. It, it ha it's, it's not that common, though. Right. Like, you know, I, I had no idea where I was going the 20, with that. To 30 point range is good for, oh. you know, a, a good player. It's average right. for a good player. Okay, so then let me... 50's a lot. <laughs> I see. And basketball... But I'm sure you'd be really good. At basketball? Yeah. I'm terrible no. at basketball. Oh, are you? Brutal. Something you're not good at when it comes to sports. I did not know. No, <laughs> basketball. <laughs> right. is, there's many reasons why. So this is how it's used normally. When mm -hmm. you, can, you can say someone's names, you know, list a couple of names and then say this is the score they got and then just give a list of numbers and then say respectively. I'll give, I'll give up an example yes. in, the, in the next story. Oh, okay. I have one. Okay. So respective or respectively, it's used very often when we want to talk about the A applies to A and B okay, applies here, to I'll B. Okay, here, I'll just do it now. Okay. Prices of pork, this is in Korea, and yeah. this is real news. This is for the next story. Prices of pork and beef fell in June, decreasing 7.2% mm. and 5.1% respectively. Uh -huh. So I said pork first mm -hmm. so we know pork prices fell yeah. seven percent 
beef prices fell one five percent. That's right. 영어에서는 이렇게 표현을 해요. 먼저 그 품목이나 이름을 쭉 나열을 하고 그 다음에 수치 같은 거를 나열을 하는데 맨 마지막에 respectively 그러면은 아까 말한 그 순서대로다. 돼지고기와 소고기 가격이 떨어졌어요. 7.2%와 5.2% respectively. 그러면 돼지고기 7, 소고기 5% 이렇게 이해하면 되겠죠. Korea's consumer price growth slowed for the fifth straight month in June. Posting a 21-month low in the 2% range, according to the latest data. 통계청이 발표한 2023년 6월 소비자 물가 동향에 따르면 물가 상승률이 5개월 연속 둔화한 가운데 21개월 만에 2%대를 기록했습니다. First expression is fifth straight month. Fifth consecutive month. Fifth month in a row. Mm-hmm. Fifth month on the trot. Yeah. This is the second straight day that we've had you on the show this it week. It is. Yeah, it's my yep. second consecutive day. I'm usually yep. on the show for three days in a row. Mm-hmm. Yep. In a row, straight, consecutive, they all mean the same thing. 연속이라는 의미입니다. Fifth straight month, 5개월 연속. And the next expression is uh, to post something. Uh, there's so many different usages of this word, yeah. but when we talk about companies posting profits mm. or a country posting a certain, in this case, growth rate, or in this case, sorry, a um, inflation rate. Right. It means uh, reporting or announcing it, mm. making it public. Making it public. 어, 기록하다의 의미도 있을 수 있고, 뭐 공개적으로 발표하다의 의미도 있을 수 있겠네요. 이 경우에는 이제 2%대를 기록했다. 21개월 만에 어, 최저 물가 상승률이다. Israel has launched its most intense military operation in the occupied West Bank in nearly two decades, conducting a series of drone strikes and deploying hundreds of troops to the Jenin refugee camp, resulting in at least 10 fatalities and 100 others injured. 이스라엘군이 20년 만에 서한 난민촌에서 드론을 이용한 공격과 수백 명의 군사를 제닌 수용소에 배치하는 등 강도 높은 군사 작전을 펼쳐 최소 10명이 숨지고 100명이 다쳤습니다. 자, 첫 번째 표현은요. The most intense military operation in 20 years입니다. Mm, the strongest, most yeah. severe. Um, this has just been... Like nine minutes ago, the BBC is reporting that Israeli forces have started to withdraw from right. the uh, refugee camp. So this uh-huh. uh, this brings an end to this major two-day operation. Mm-hmm. And uh, the latest statistics here say that 12 Palestinians have been killed and one Israeli soldier has been killed. Ah, uh, 그렇군요. 지금 업데이트된 거를 전해주셨습니다. Uh, 이스라엘군이 이제 철군을 uh, 지금 하고 있다. 그 다음에는 사망자 수는 12명으로 늘어났다. Uh, 라는 얘기를 지금 해주셨고요. So that's uh, Palestinians, 12 Palestinians 12, 12 have been Palestinian, killed. Yes. And one Israeli? One Israeli soldier. A soldier has been yes. killed as yes. well. Uh, 이스라엘군도 한 명이 사망했다는 소식도 들려오네요. Uh, yeah, this is a very intense military operation, mm-hmm. as you said. Yes, very intense. Mm. It was they went in quite heavily, we could say. Yes, 강도 높다, intense. And then what about deploying? Deploying is sending. So in this case, they sent hundreds of troops there, but you can also use deploy with resources as well. Yeah. So they deployed tanks. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes we hear about the U.S. deploying aircraft carriers near the Korean peninsula. Right. 배치하다의 의미인데요. This could be deploying, as you said, people or weapons. Assets, assets. resources. Yeah. Exactly. China's Commerce Ministry has announced it will impose restrictions on exporting two metals that are widely used in semiconductors, electric vehicles, and high-tech industries on national security grounds. 중국 상무부는 국가 안보를 이유로 반도체, 전기 자동차 및 고도의 기술 산업에 널리 쓰이는 희귀 금속인 갈륨과 게르마늄에 대한 수출을 통제하기로 발표했습니다. So in this case, we're talking about a trade war, and it says here that these two metals are widely used in semiconductors and the like. That is right. So these two metals are called gallium and Mm -hmm. germanium. Mm. Widely used means used by many companies that produce these products. Uh And meaning they're, you know, they're needed. They're quite key. Widely can be 
used um, in other ways as yeah. well. You can say someone is widely known. Sure. Um, known by many people in that case then. People. Known or used. Mm. In this case, yeah. we know it's used by many different yeah. companies. Or a, so a song is widely sung. Sure. You know, it's, yeah. it's a song that everyone knows. Could a movie or TV show be widely seen? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. 널리 모모테다 라는 뜻인데요. Widely used and 널리 쓰이다. Widely seen, 그러면 uh, 널리 많은 사람들이 본다. Widely known, 그러면 많은 사람들이 안다. 이런 의미가 되겠죠. Now, what about on national security grounds? When you see grounds, you can basically switch the or understand it as the reasons for something. Mm -hmm. So the reason for this is they're saying it's because of national security. Right. This is why we need to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's always with an S. Uh, yes. You right. don't say on ground. No, on grounds. On grounds. Yeah. 여기서 grounds는 reason, 이유라는 뜻입니다. 그래서 on national security grounds, 국가 안보를 이유로. Another way of rephrasing this could be on the grounds of on national the grounds of national security. security. Exactly. Astronomers have watched the distant universe running in slow motion, marking the first time that the weird effect predicted by Albert Einstein more than a century ago has been observed in the early cosmos. 100여 년전 아인슈타인이 예측한 현재보다 훨씬 느리게 움직이는 먼 우주인 초기 우주를 처음 관측했다고 호주 뉴질랜드의 천문학 연구팀이 밝혔습니다. Now, if you run in slow motion... <laughs> you are running or moving very, very slowly, much yes. slower than normal speed. Sure. It's, yeah, slow motion is usually something that's done by video editing. Yeah. Do you remember you could you could do that with videos in the past? You know, I think you could. Well, you can still do it. Yeah, video, tons well, of video don't apps. Watch videos. What's oh, that? oh, right. Uh, yeah, video you know, apps. But I mean, like actual VCR videos. Oh, you know, you put right. it into the machine, and then you'd have your remote, yep. and you could. I don't know what button it was, but you could make it move in slow motion. Probably the slow motion button. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I used um, yeah. um, video right, cassette or whatever, right. whatever it was called. <laughs> 자 그래요. 비디오 얘기를 괜히 또 꺼내가지고 어, 옛날 어, 기억을 좀 어, 더듬 더듬 되살려 봤습니다. 이 slow motion이라는 것은 느리게 감기라는 뜻이 있어요. 그래서 so, run, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I was going to say it's always cool when you're watching the Olympics mm. and there's a photo finish and they oh, yeah. they do the slow motion and you just see the one 그치. athlete's hand oh. maybe break the plane first. 그렇죠. 우리가 이제 올림픽 같은 때에 어, 누가 1등 했는지 잘잘 어, 판단이 서지 않을 때 uh, what's the term you use to say what video um, what's the term Replay, you, you mean or now, what's that thing they do in the Olympics when you can't tell who was first or second because it's such a close call, and then you you do something. It's called a video something. I've, well, I'll, sure. I'll look up the term. Okay. I'll look up the term. I'm thinking photo finish, but you're I maybe it's you're... a photo finish. Okay. Is it? Oh. They they take a photo and they slow it down, and then you can ah. just see who won. Ah, 그건가 보네요. Uh, my brain yeah. is really not up to it today, okay. as you can see. Photo finish, and this was because in the past they used photos, mm -hmm. but these days. You don't use right. photos, you use video. But the phrase still exists. 아, 그거네요, 바로. 네, 이제 영상으로 우리가 이제 식별을 하죠. 누가 1위였나, 2위였나, 뭐 0. 몇, 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 1초 차이로. 근데 요거를 photo finish라고 부르는 이유는 예전에는 사진으로 간별을 했기 때문에 그렇다. 뭐, slow motion 얘기하다 보니까 뭐 거기까지 갔네요. To run in slow motion basically means you're going very slow. Well, yeah, like... Yeah. A different time uh, schedule to us here on Earth. Sure. And early cosmos. The maybe early just... days of the universe yeah. is the way that the easiest 그렇죠. way to understand that. 네. Cosmos meaning universe. 그렇죠. 초기 우주라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. The Korea Meteorological Administration has revealed that the month of June set a new record high for the number of days with thunder and lightning, while the monthly average temperature was the fourth warmest ever recorded. 기상청은 지난달 평균 기온이 사상 네 번째로 높았던 가운데 천둥 번개가 쳤던 날의 수도 역대 최고치를 기록했다고 밝혔습니다. The first expression is to set a new record high. Yes, meaning it was higher than ever. The number of uh, well, thundery and lightningy days, mm -hmm. the highest ever. If we set a new high, it's higher than ever before. We're breaking a record. Yes, setting a new high, and of course, high is used as a noun in this case. It means the highest figure. Exactly. That. 
신기록을 세웠다. And monthly average temperatures. Yes, it's the average temperature for the month. Of course, it will fluctuate day by day and place to place. But when 음. we put all those temperatures together 음. over the month, we get the monthly average. Aha. Uh -huh. So monthly would be for the month. In this case, we're looking at last month. Yes. And then it says average. So that's somewhere in the middle. And temperature is temperature. Exactly. The 월 평균 기온이 되겠네요. Protesters from the climate change activist group Just Stop Oil disrupted Wimbledon twice on Wednesday after showering court 18 in orange confetti and jigsaw pieces. 환경 단체 Just Stop Oil 회원들이 지난 수요일 런던 윈블던 테니스 대회 중 18번 코트에서 오렌지색 색종이와 직소 퍼즐을 뿌리며 두 차례 경기를 방해했습니다. An easy word we can think of when we think of 방해하다 is disturb. Yes. But it says here, disrupt. Yeah, and I'm going to introduce another word here to help, and that is interrupt. Interrupt. So, for example, if Sue was talking and I interjected suddenly, I would interrupt. Mm -hmm. But that's a little bit different to disrupt. To disrupt is to go even further. It's to cause trouble or to even stop something from happening. Yeah. So, for example, if Sue was reading the headline and I came over and started ripping up her script or pulling at her microphone, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be interrupting, that would be disrupting. Disrupting, exactly. So, I suppose uh, disrupting is a stronger word than disturbing. Yes. You know, I might disturb you accidentally um, for some reason, but disrupting is just making the whole process come to a halt. Exactly, yeah. It's causing, it's causing problems, it's causing trouble mm. in school. Teachers will talk about disruptive behaviour, for example. Ah. Uh, yes, we wouldn't call it disturbing behaviour. We'd mm. say disruptive. Disrupt. <laughs> And if you shower something, in this case, shower is a verb, yes. what does it mean? It means to sprinkle something, to let it rain down, mm. like a shower. For yeah. example, we talked about rain in the first headline. Um, in the UK, we have a lot of rain showers. Mm -hmm. That's when there is light rain. Mm. So rain falls, not heavily, but pop, 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 <laughs> onto us and onto the ground. Right. And it's the same when we shower something with something. In mm. this case, it was showering the court with uh, orange confetti and jigsaw pieces. Um, you can even shower someone with love. Yes, I think there's a song by Surface called Shower Me With Your Love. So shower means, like you said, it's sort of spraying or giving someone something like rain would come down from the skies. Yeah, so it's not heavy, it's not violent, yeah. it's not painful. Mm. It's um, sometimes very pleasant in this case. Not so pleasant, just disruptive. 그래요. Shower라는 동사가 무언가를 뿌리다 라는 의미가 될수 있습니다. The Taliban have ordered beauty salons in Afghanistan to shut, giving them one month to comply in the latest restriction faced by women who are already largely confined to their homes with bans on most work and study. 아프가니스탄 여성들의 경제 활동과 교육 기회를 막고 있는 집권 세력 탈레반이 이번에는 한달 내에 전국의 모든 미용실을 폐쇄하라고 명령했습니다. They have one month to comply. Yes, which means they have one month to do it. Mm -hmm. They have to shut in one month. Uh, so one month to do something, that is your deadline. That's the amount of time you have. Mm -hmm. And comply, well, that means you have to obey. Right. You have to do what you're told to do. The word comply is not a nice word. Mm. You won't use this with your friends. You won't say, please comply. Right. This is a word that will be used by the police, yeah. by the government, mm. by your boss if you're not doing a good job. It's a very official, formal and serious word. Mm. Comply라는 거는요, 어떤 규칙에 따르다 라는 뜻입니다. So to have one month to comply, 한달줄 테니까 한달 안에 해, 이런 거죠. 네. Um, women in Afghanistan already, they're largely confined to their homes. Yes, and if you're confined to your home, that means you have to stay inside. You're stuck inside. So, um, you know, a prisoner is confined to a prison cell. Yeah. Uh, if we look at headline number five, which we will in a few minutes, mm. the poor lion was confined to a tiny cage. Yes. And here, largely, um, when we use the term largely, we're not talking about size mm. here. It basically means mostly. So they can go outside, they can go to some places, but most places they're not allowed to go to. 주로 뭐뭐하다, largely. 
그리고 confined to 어디 어디. 그러면은 이제 어디에 갇혀서 지낸다라는 느낌이다. 아, 그래서 주로 집 안에서만 지내야 하는 그런 여성들인데. And we're going to find out soon, but uh, you know these beauty salons were one of the few places that they could go to. Yes. But, but it looks like that's not going to be the case at the end of this month. 그나마 좀갈수 있었던 곳이 미용실이었는데요. 그거조차도 지금 문 닫으라고 하는 겁니다. British magazine New Musical Express (NME) has taken stock of the biggest and best albums released so far this week. Uh, this year, excuse me, with the list including albums by K-pop groups Le Seraphin and Ive. and Korean American singer Yeji. 네, 영국의 유명 음악 매체인 NME가 선정한 2023 상반기 베스트 앨범에 어, 그룹 루세라핌, 아이브, 그리고 한국계 미국인 싱어송라이터 예지가 선정됐습니다. So NME took stock of something. What does yes. that mean? If we take stock of something, we take a look at it, we mm-hmm. review it, we assess it. For example, uh, at the end of June, I took stock of my finances. Because mm. I always like to, I keep a record of how much I'm earning. Yeah. And at the six month mark, I'm like, how am I doing this year? Mm. Am I doing okay? Yeah. You know, are my savings okay? And so on. So I took stock mm. of my finances. Um, this term, if we turn it around, we get the original meaning to stock take. Mm. Um, if you're a shopkeeper, If you work in a store or a supermarket or a warehouse, you have to do a stock take. Uh-huh. And that is where you count the number of things you have. Right. How many tins of tomatoes do we have, Sue? Yeah. 33. Exactly. How many frozen legs of lamb? 74. How many, <laughs> how many cooked chickens? Five. You've, you've <laughs> taken stock of the stock. You've done a stock take. Is that what I sound like? Yes. Five. Five. 75. Hi, my name's Sue. <laughs> 자, 그 재고량 우리가 얘기할 때 stock라고 하기도, 하기도 하는데요. 거기서 나온 표현이 합니다. Take stock of something이라는 것은 보통은 얼만큼 재고량이 남았나에서 나온 걸로 즉 뭔가를 검토하다, 확인하다 이런 뜻인데요. So far this year, so it's been six months, 올해 상반기에는 어떤 앨범들이 나왔고 그 안에서 NME라고 하는 영국의 이 음악 매체, 원래는 잡지였거든요. 지금은 온라인상으로 이제 활동을 하고 있는 그런 회사인데 거기에서 These are the best albums so far this year. 상반기 yes. 베스트 앨범 발표를 했어요. Uh, so far this year가 무슨 뜻이죠? Until now. From January the 1st until now 음. is so far this year. 음흠. Up until this point. 아하, 지금까지. So far. 그러니까 올해 지금까지. So far this year. A visibly malnourished lion spotted living alone in a cramped pen at a financially distressed private zoo in Kimhae has been relocated to a spacious new home in Jeonju. 네, 김해시의 한 사설 동물원에서 갈비뼈가 도드라질 정도로 비쩍 마른 채 비좁은 우리에서 홀로 지냈던 사자가 청주에 위치한 넓은 새 보금자리로 옮겨졌습니다. 어, 자, 일단은요. 그냥 딱 봐도 malnourished다. Visibly malnourished. What does that yes. mean? If you are malnourished, you have not had enough nourishment. You've mm. not had enough good food, you know, with fiber and vitamins and protein mm. and all the things you need. You are underfed and underfed so badly that you are, you know, you're, you're sick or you're, you're close to dying even. Um, so if you're visibly malnourished, you look as if you haven't eaten and you mm. haven't been given enough food. Malnourished. Uh, mal here means you, you don't have enough of something or yes. you, you don't have something at all. And to be nourished, you know, means you have the nutrition you need. But in this case, mal nourished, you don't have that. 영양실조에 걸린 상태로 보통 mal nourished라고 하고요. Visibly mal nourished. 누가 봐도 아, 영양실조에 걸렸나? 어, 음. 갈비뼈가 보일 정도로 너무 말랐다. 이런 거죠. Now this lion had been living alone. Now lions are not supposed to live alone. They're no, supposed they're to be pack surrounded. animals. They are pack animals. They're supposed to be surrounded by other lions. But this one was living alone in a very cramped pen. Yes. Uh, first off, a pen is um, a sealed off area, like a cage, for example. Mm. We think of pens like we keep sheep or pigs in a pen. Uh, here, the lion was kept in a pen and the pen was cramped, meaning mm. it was small and uncomfortable. When I fly economy class, which I always do, mm. can't afford business, I sit in a cramped seat. Yeah. I have very long legs and so I feel cramped, meaning mm. it's too small for me, too tight for me, uncomfortable for me. Mm. Cramped, 굉장히 비좁은 건데요. Pen이라는 거는 여기서 동물의 우리를 말합니다. 